Price Music, baby. Mambo vipi inakuwaje kama kawa mimi naitwa Chris Favors karibu tena hapa SNS kutazama interview nyingine na leo napiga story na msanii kutoka Namibia anaitwa Gaza amekuja hapa kupromote muziki wake pia na ana album of course ambayo tutakuja kuizungumzia baadaye so point ya msingi ni kuniambia tunatazama interview hii ukiwa wapi kama unaofahamu tena SNS tupo duniani kote so hapo kwenye uh, same ya comments nitapenda pia nione hiyo love niambie Chris mimi naitazama interview leo labda nikiwa uh, same flani inawezekana pia tuna watu wanatazama kutoka Namibia itakuwa ni kitu poa sana. Gaza, how are you? I'm good man, how are you man? I'm fine. How are you doing? How are you feeling to be in Tanzania? Uh, I mean I've been here for a minute now so I'm starting to feel at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is your first time? No, it's my second time. Oh, yeah. Well, that's really good. Yeah. What the most um I can say beautiful thing you love about Tanzania? The fruits. Mhm. <laughs> They are very fresh and juicy. Okay. Um the people. Mhm. Very friendly and welcoming and um, the vegetation okay it's very green unlike home um, we are a semi desert country so mm-hmm. or we our scenery is normally like um, uh, brown dry and dunes mm-hmm. yeah while here it's just green everything is green mm. yeah. but so far so good you having good time in here yeah yeah the weather is also beautiful yeah, yeah. let's talk about you um, you are one of the most successful artists from Namibia. You have done a lot of stuff yeah. in music and in personal life too, right? Yeah. Do you rank yourself as number one artist in Namibia? No, not really. Mm-hmm. Um because I, I I don't rank myself. Yeah. Um I let the people do that. Um Maybe you can have that debate with somebody else mm-hmm. and then you, you get your results but <laughs> okay for myself even when I make my music I don't make my music saying that this is going to be the number one song in the country yeah um I just make my music to the best of my ability and hope that it works mm-hmm. yeah wow uh for so many years you've been in the game yeah you're a legend I can say that okay. how do you uh, see the industry of Namibia musical You know it's it's growing uh, in terms of talent uh, but uh, we don't have the structure. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have unions, we don't have bodies that protects the, the music rights and the artists and, and stuff like that. So we are really exposed and a lot of people come in the industry and they just um, you know take advantage whether for a quick buck or whatever it is you know because it's so v- the industry is so vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And you know um, when when you are an artist so when you are talented in one field you lack in the others so other people that will see where you are lacking they will come in and take advantage you know yeah uh, you can't be an artist and know all the music laws and rights you know you need a different person for that for that field to take care of that stuff mm-hmm. um you can't be an artist and be uh, an expert to um when it comes to say value extraction from from your artwork or um you know from your works basically um as an artist as a musician you concentrate on music mm-hmm. that's what you do that's your that's your passion that's what drives you that's what wakes you up in the morning yeah and then um you let the other people take care of the other stuff now because we don't have bodies to regulate um in the industry a lot of people come in and take advantage some uh they'll build the industry but some they also destroy mm-hmm. especially personal lives and artists you know yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so how hard was it for you to sustain all these years uh in this kind of situation as you said the industry of namibia is not that uh well organized i can say that no it's you know i all i came in the game knowing that um it's all fun and games mm-hmm. and then it got serious and um when it got serious is when I maybe released my first three albums. Yeah. And they all had number one hits. Mm-hmm. Um and then people started expecting more from me. So I had to work extra hard. Yeah. Uh to make sure that I I produce music according to the standard of people's expectation. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it's a difficult balance because then I also try to have fun while creating the music at the same time yeah and also 
trying to be comfortable so that you don't lose yourself by chasing what people want mm-hmm. so that you can at the end of the day you can still um, provide or produce music that is coming from the heart mm-hmm. and then when it's heartfelt you know it, a lot of people will be able to relate to it so it's a, it's a very tricky balance but then you have to be um, adhering and also stubborn at the same time right you know adhering in terms of uh, this is the sound now this is what people want but also stubborn to say this one feels right to me I don't care what people say mm-hmm. this is what I'm going to do you know and sometimes or most of the times when you are being stubborn and listening to your inner voice those are really the songs that speaks to people yeah yeah, yeah. how do you see our industry I mean the Tanzanian music industry man um, I've been observing it from a distance mm-hmm. um, I really don't know the ins and out but uh, I know a few artists here uh, you know the cream de la cream mm-hmm. of the industry obviously they are making waves outside of uh, the country and also outside of the continent yeah yeah so oh, I know that you guys are at a, at a great place mm-hmm. uh, and at a better place I think uh, than the Namibian music industry um, of course Namibia when I compare the two countries Namibia is it's got its advantages mm-hmm. uh, but when it comes to the music industry I don't know whether it's the population that um, yeah I think it's got to do with the population okay uh, but your industry is way ahead okay yeah. you do have your own label yes. GMP yes you do have any artists so far you have signed under your label yeah we have a lot of artists okay yeah uh, we have J.O. we have Black Sheep we have DJ Shoza Um, we have Nita. Um, who else do we have? Yeah, we have a lot of artists in, under GMP. Okay. Yeah. How does it feel to be in a position of helping uh, these young talents? I can say that because when you have a label, it means like you 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 you're there to just help others, help other talents. How yeah. does it make you feel? It's not easy because then now I have to push extra for them. Mm-hmm. In order for them to be seen, I have to help them a lot, like um, give them my personal time. Because people will see them under my light. Yeah. And I want them to be artists on their own, mm-hmm. you know, to shine their own light. So I have to put extra work, you know, make whatever it is that they are doing more special give it more time than i give my own things uh-huh. so that when the public look at the artist the artist must not feel no he did not do enough for me yeah. you know so sometimes the, the artist must feel you know what you are doing is enough for me you don't have to do more mm-hmm. you know and then we push it out there to the world to see whether it works or not you know okay yeah but it's it's difficult mm-hmm. because Um, they are seen under my light and uh, it's almost like uh, you know they have to compete uh-huh. to compete not only against the, the rest of the industry but also against my brand in order for them to be seen yeah uh, which is not an easy thing because I'm already established uh-huh. you know but uh, the people back home they are also starting to understand um, Uh, the art of music itself mm-hmm. you know and um, ap- they are starting to appreciate music and not brands and not people you know so now it's it's becoming a bit easier to be able you know, you know with the digital uh, world of things it's yeah. becoming a bit more easier because now when you release the artist you put the artist everywhere on on the digital platforms and then not only your market can mm-hmm. pick that song up if the song is good but the the rest of the world it's easy to go viral now. Mm-hmm. yeah so it's much much easier than it was before okay mm-hmm. so you're here in Tan- you're here in Tanzania um, are you planning to work with any artists from here so far do you have that plan yeah yes of course um, you know like I said I've been admiring your industry for for a while like I mean um, you have I think you have um, some of the most beautiful landscapes mm-hmm. uh, it's different from what we have in Namibia and I'm sure if you come to Namibia you'll say ours is beautiful because it's, <laughs> it's yeah, different it's different yeah uh, and the yeah, the videos that are shot here um, amazing mm-hmm. and uh, already yes I have worked with uh, with Winnie 
Okay. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm open for more collaborations with uh, Tanzanian artists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who are you wishing to work with? Uh, you know, obviously the cream de la cream, uh-huh. uh, but I don't only look at the, the the brands. I know the brands are good for me because they're gonna take me places that I I, I haven't. I'm not able to reach by myself. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is the power of collaborations. Um, but I'm also a sucker for good music. Uh-huh. Um, if there's a boy somewhere in the ghetto and he's he's talented, and then we seem to come together, and then. Our, our energies they sync and then we produce something really nice uh-huh. uh, I can't resist I can even extend my state to make sure that the song is finished you know yeah. properly without worrying about everything else I can drop everything else to make sure that the song is perfect uh-huh. so yeah whether it's a high-end top artist or whether it's just another upcoming artist from yeah. the ghetto as long as the music that's gonna come out is gonna you know uh-huh. If it doesn't wow the world, it must wow us while we're in the studio or when the song comes out, we know we give it our best and it makes us feel good, touches something inside, mm-hmm. then my job is done. No. Oh. Let's talk about your album, Messiah. Yeah. Um first of all, I was so surprised uh, for you to use this name, Messiah. Messiah is like Jesus, right? Yeah. Another way. Yeah. It's like Jesus. Yeah. Why this name? Messiah uh is someone who comes to save mm-hmm. people from something. Savior. Yeah, mm-hmm. you see, so um, Sam Nyoma, uh, our founding president, was a messiah for us because he brought us independence. I'm sure a lot of uh, your formers also, like Julius Nyerere, mm-hmm. unifying people, you know, um, sacrificing for independence yeah. and even sacrificing for the rest of Africa because they were gunning for African unity. Um, that is somebody trying to liberate people from something. It's mm-hmm. a messiah. So for me, I saw my people lost hope. You know, especially after the COVID thing hit and the economy was down and everybody's suffering. Mm-hmm. And um, it was a chance for me to make very sad music that can resonate with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, get people to be in their feelings and then they'll just, oh, we, oh, Gaza, Gaza, you know, Gaza is feeling our pain. But I decided, no, I'm not going to um to sympathize with people in that way mm-hmm. i'm going to give them hope and i'm going to um to to give them a mind shift and, and sort of uh liberate them from this dark cloud you know and just to give them hope so that's why uh we're calling the album the messiah because now we know what the situation is now on the ground mm-hmm. but we want to show you what it can be in the future Okay. Through the music, through creating, in, the music does not have to say, the future is going to be bright. The future is going mm-hmm. to be bright. No, we just have to create a vibe to say, you know what? I don't care right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm in a good mood, and that's that, that's what the music is about in the Messiah album. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, there are songs with a message, a straightforward message that are saying, you know, um, there's a movement of uh, youth uprising. Um, there's a dark cloud now, but there's a silver lining uh, behind every dark cloud. You know, we can make it. The economy is down. Everybody's depressed. Yes, there are those messages, but most of it is about love. It's about, you know, just good vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. I heard your story, and uh, there's there's one part you say it like, your name is Jesus too. Your mama or your grandma gave you that name. Yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's my, my birth name too, yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, you see, um, when uh, when the, the, the project Messiah came about, it was not really something that I planned, you know? Mm-hmm. But, you know, even when I first had the feeling, and this is even before the album was halfway done, when I had the feeling of, calling the album messiah and i spoke it out everybody was against me okay uh but then you know then i made the song called moses you know Mm -hmm. and the message there is just it's just different and i'm even listening to the song and i'm like this is not me Mm -hmm. but people like it you know and where where did i even get these words from because those words are really really so strong that you know when people listen to it you know the song was created before and the things that i'm seeing even the song happens like in the future yeah it's like you predicted right yes 
so and my aunt she's been calling me always every time i go and visit at the village just to pass by you know give her some food a cell phone and what just to make sure that she's okay mm-hmm. but this one time she's like you know you need to speak to me you know and i need to tell you some stuff you know i need to tell you where you're from you know and uh, she was the last of my father's bloodline um and then i made time to go there and then she was telling me all these things okay and she when she was talking saying that uh my name is jesus she was not telling me because uh of, of my status when i go to the village like a lot of people come and they're just mm-hmm. surrounding us and now they were listening to her talk to me and then she's asking them do you know this guy mm-hmm. and then someone said no uh is gaza and then she said no the names that were given by his father do you know them mm-hmm. and then say no then he says de shimona landureni jesus jesus yeah okay and then she was educating the everybody you know and from there that time already then something came together and it clicked and i said no mm-hmm. man and then after that even the song that i did with winnie yeah it's a song of of giving hope and um even now there was a there's a song called mukuru which you released last week it's, yeah, yeah. it's already got over 40,000 one of my favorite though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh 40,000 over 40,000 uh, views on youtube just a week ago mm-hmm. and it's no video it's just a song yeah which is those are great numbers in namibia because we're a population of 2.5 million only the whole country yeah so it, that song is well received and people are even saying that it's unifying the nation and you know so that that's the power that uh, god has given me mm-hmm. and i try to use that in a very positive manner because now you see the world is fast now the internet of things and you know, people can get influence from anywhere else and the concentration span of people because of the internet is very very fast if, if they look at that it's boring ah they go to the next page and mm-hmm. to the next page mm-hmm. so how do you capture them and still be conscious at the same time how do you not fall into the trap of of trends okay this is trending now so you're gonna do this and lose yourself in the process so it's it's, it's kind of hard but it's working so therefore the messiah because everything every piece of that album fell into its place just by the grace of god most of the features there um for instance we feature, there's also a feature with black diamond from south africa okay those guys are big but then they reach out to me you know to say yo we want to work with you is it okay mm-hmm. and i'm like oh god this is a blessing you know uh, i have a feature with rick hassani with rick hassani i think since 2017 mm-hmm. we've been talking about working 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 okay. but we never got to it and then now everything just it's just falling into place mm-hmm. yeah and when is going to be coming out coming out Um I think by the beginning of November okay. we're going to be releasing singles um uh, I think from uh, next week on you see uh, Mukuru was one of the first singles yeah um and I'm I'm working with brands like uh KFC to to release uh songs every every week okay uh, through KFC uh and I think it's a very good platform and I'm grateful for 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 KFC Namibia to give me that platform I'm also working with Ventuk Draft and uh, as an ambassador for Ventuk Draft for many years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also creating some augmented reality so that when you miss the song with KFC you can still listen to it over augmented reality okay. with Ventuk Draft and then after the the eight weeks with KFC is done and then that's when we release the album the physical copies and on the digital platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Let's talk about Charity. One of the uh, your song that's have so many views yes. 5.7 million views on YouTube. Yes. What does it mean? I mean the meaning of charity. Charity is money. Money. Yeah. Okay, that's Namibian Namibian language. It's a slang. It's, okay. it's, it's a Namibian um uh East North East Namibia they say charity. Mm-hmm. South Africa they say charity. Okay. Um so it's it's adapted it's almost like a slang now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which means money. Wow. Yeah, so the song is talking about uh, you know, I'm a poor man, I'm looking for money. I'm looking for chelete, but whenever I get chelete, I have bad habits. I buy cigarette, I mm-hmm. you know I do, <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> all the bad habits that we all have. Yeah. But then the man is finished again and you you are on a hustle, but I'm saying I'm you know, don't waste my time. You know, I, I'm not here to for uh, manga manga business, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm here to look for money. So Uh, that is in a way it's a very simple message very simple and catchy chorus but the message really fr- from 
within me when I sing these simple words, but they have a deeper meaning. Yeah, it's just that I'm on my hustle. You know, it's like Jay Z saying, or whoever saying, um, um, if it ain't about the money, then don't talk to me. Mm-hmm. You know, if it ain't about the money, I can't. Don't hear make sense. It. Yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, right? yeah. So it, it, it's it's kind of the same thing, but I just put it in our local. I just localized it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that it can relate to everyone. So basically. Yeah, I'm on my hustle. Wow. Yeah. E bwana anaitwa e, Gaza kutokea Namibia kama nilivyo kueleza amekuja hapa Tanzania lakini point ya msingi kwa yote ambayo tumeyazungumza in case hujaelewa uh, kwanza amekuja ku promote muziki wake na kubwa ni album yake ambayo inatoka mwezi wa 11. Album inaitwa Messiah kwa maana nyingine tunasema Yesu kwa Kiswahili au sio. So itatoka na tayari wini kutokea Tanzania ni miongoni mwa wasanii ambao watasikika kwenye hiyo album so far. Pengine kutoka kuna ongezeko la wasanii wengine you never know lakini amekuja hapa kiendelea kufanya kazi zake za muziki na promotion pia ya album yake ambayo anakwenda kuitoa mwezi wa kumi na moja mwaka wa 2021. So Gaza uh, mm. I'd like you to talk to people who are watching you right now like yeah. everything uh, just to summarize is either your your social media pages uh, where they can listen to your songs and stuff. Mm. Um well they can go on YouTube to watch all our videos uh they just search for GMP467 mm-hmm. uh they can please like and subscribe um and then my social media twitter is uh, gaza467 underscore gaza is g a double z a underscore uh gaza467 underscore that's twitter and then gaza467 on instagram g a double z a 467 that's instagram and then of course facebook um and if you don't know what you're searching for in particular you just say uh on youtube you just say gaza namibia and then all my videos will pop up okay yeah. uh bwana asante sana kwa kutazama lakini i have something i want to tell gaza yeah by myself according to my research You are the number one artist in, in, in <laughs> No cap. Thank you. Thank you. I will I will take that. <laughs> you need to take, take that because yeah. that's the truth. No cap. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys next time.